Hey guys, Mike here. I wanted to make a video tonight, cover three things. Uh, one is a home run I had on some paper dials. I think I showed you before, but I'll give you a little more in-depth information on them and show you how I did this week. And uh, I wanted to also set the record straight on a couple things I mentioned last video about how I was doing on Amazon and how many sales I'm having. I wasn't really accurate with that. I did some reporting and, and have a better idea now of how, how many things were actually selling per day on average and also I want to give you a, a, a quick shot at some of the things I have up this week it's sort of uh, kind of funny I'm gonna go from showing you these paper dolls which was just a, uh, an amazing home run for me to what I'm putting up this week which not so much we'll see um, it's one of those auctions you go to and you think you know while you're buying it of course you think you're doing really good or else you wouldn't buy it and then you wind up getting these things listed and you look at it and you're thinking man how am I gonna make my money back on this so let get started. Uh, first of all, with Amazon, I mentioned that I was selling, t I think I mentioned around t uh, 15 to 20 or maybe 20 or so things a day in the last video, and that's completely off. I did some reporting on Amazon, and from the day I started to now, which is going to be skewed to the low side because it's an average, and we're selling a lot more now than I, I did when we first started, it's eight a day. And over the last month or so, it's more like 10 or 12 a day. So it's it's not too bad, but it's it's half of what I thought it was. I put up about 700 CDs over the last, I guess, three weeks or so. And whenever you put up a huge sum like that, you get this you know, a ton of interest, and then the sales just kind of fall off and level out. And what they're doing, that's what's happening right now, is when I did that last video, they were really, really uh, spiking, and now it's sort of leveled off, and I'm at about 10 or 12 CDs every day. So it looks like it's falling down to what that average may be, which still, that's awesome for me I can't complain you know the whole idea was to see if this thing would scale and I'm you know up to about almost 2000 I think 1980 or something CDs up there or items up there and our sales are scaling so so far so good I'll keep you posted on that <clears throat> and the next thing I want to talk about was uh, the paper dolls I bought those a couple months ago I can't actually more than that I bought them maybe maybe a year ago even more than a year ago they sat in my basement forever I had no idea what to do with them uh, I pulled them out I was actually getting ready to send them to a local auction and then I sort of I wouldn't let myself because I just didn't know much about them and I my general rule is if I don't know anything about it and I can't find any good examples out on the internet I want to throw it up there and see if it sticks it's worth it just in case and in this case it really was the first batch I put up a couple months ago I didn't do that well on I think I might have gotten uh, 10 or 10 15 bucks a piece and only sold half of the I think 25 or so I put up I can't remember exactly and then I put them in my store for eight bucks a piece and they sold out within a month so that was good this time around I put up 56 of them and they all sold and the average cost was around 18 19 dollars a piece it was a real home run for me and I still have uh, bunches of them left and uh, so if it pans out the way this has, we'll be talking, you know, total from the first lot I did, this one I did this week, and what's in the future. Uh, what's the math there? You know, twenty six hundred bucks for what I have left, three thousand between three and four thousand dollars for whatever a less than fifty dollar investment. So that's the that's the big home run I get to share. Every once in a while that happens. And uh I'll show you a few of the the uh the listings here that sold. Okay guys, here's an example of some of the ones that sold last week. $22, $24, $26. And scroll up, this person bought a ton of them. As you can see, $900, which is great because I only have to ship one thing, but it's bad. If this transaction goes bad, that's a lot of money. <clears throat> so anyway, there it is. Those are the things that sold. And actually, let me put this camera back and all. I'll uh, give you some close-ups of them. Okay, guys, back with you here. Let me show you a few of these dolls. As you can see, try to get them out of here without messing them up. 137 of these things, and they were selling like hotcakes, and hopefully they continue to do so. I'll give you a little example here, close-up of them. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> Looking over my nose here. And on the back, which way is it? There are comics. <clears throat> There's another one. I won't show you many of these because they're all basically the same thing. They're just just a different 
lady or girl's name on them. I haven't run into any boys yet, so I, I think they... Actually, I did. I think way back, the original lot, I think I had a couple of them in there, and they didn't sell nearly as well as the, the girls, I guess, because they were vowels, and it's a girl thing. So, that's that. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to touch on is some items I got at the that I have up right now. I spent 300 where is it? 369 dollars total on this auction. I got eight lots looks like. Just some various stuff. I bought it online and went over to the auction house and picked it up and um, honestly it wasn't some of my best purchases. I got some Beatles memorabilia. Uh, turns out this stuff here completely worthless, but there are a couple uh, Beatles things in here that are pretty good. <clears throat> this is the best one in the whole lot here, and that one should get me, if, I, if I'm correct, maybe 30 to 40 bucks if I'm lucky. And what did I pay for the Beatles lot here? Beatles, Beatles. Oh, where are they? $48 total. So. Uh, that this might be worth three or four dollars. It's a Beatles coin. Probably can't really see. It's not worth holding up. Can't really see it. And then got a cake topper here. So I'm looking at maybe making my money back on that lot, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. <clears throat> That's why I was saying this this time around. It's going to be interesting to see if I get my money back. Uh, this is pretty cool. I got some penny toys, old wooden penny toys. Made in Germany. I think it's Germany or is it West Germany? Just says Germany on that. I'm going to pay for that. I can't remember. Actually, I have it up here. $85 into these. And I should get maybe... This is actually the one that's in the best condition as far as the wagons go. The others are kind of rough, like this one here. You can see... I don't know if you can see. It's got... My hands are shaking. I got, it has string holding the horses on. They're mismatched horses, so one of them is not original. And as you can see, the rear wheel on this cart is cardboard not even steel so this one's kinda rough <clears throat> and I've got a few others this one's actually in pretty good shape here and I won't show you all of them but you get the idea I'll probably get 10 12 15 dollars a piece for those and then these here are the best lots I have two of these I'll show you the one this one's missing one of the riders it's an old uh, seesaw swing here and I saw one on eBay going for $60 but I'm really not sure if it's this exact one so whether or not I actually do get $60 for it is anyone's guess <clears throat> so what did I uh, maybe 100 120 bucks is what I have written down for all of them together and again I paid $85 so that's your that's kind of a make your money back situation pay for eBay fees so and I warned you it's kind of rough here this week to get my money back so okay yeah let me show, show you the um, celluloid toys. These are pretty cool. I'm, I've, I've grown kind of addicted to these things because it seems like nobody else is interested in these when I go to auctions and I get them on the cheap every single time and always make great money on them. You know, I, I never lose money on these things. And these are celluloid toys. This one here is pretty cool. It's, uh, Her what is his name? Harold Lloyd. And I didn't know the first thing about this guy, but I found out on the internet that this dude was around with, um, uh, what's that guy's name? Chapman. Is it Charlie Chapman? I can't remember. <clears throat> and he was about the same time period, but he wasn't nearly as famous. However, he was much more prolific. He did tons of movies and, and shows and whatnot. And I should be able to get about $50 for this guy. Only flaw, as you can see, his nose has a dent. But it should still do pretty, pretty well on that. And here's the best one. Skippy. And he's in excellent shape. I found a couple really, really minor dents, but, you know, nothing to write home about. Really tiny. Has a sticker on the back. Still has a sticker on the bottom. And I've seen these go for up to $100, so we'll see. Should do really well on that. And this guy's interesting. Oswald. And it's not really celluloid. It's some kind of hard plastic. But, you know, actually, it could be celluloid. I just can't tell on this. Because it, it looks like it. But when you feel it, it's it's a thicker plastic, and most of the celluloid things I've seen are really, really thin plastic. This is thicker, so maybe it's just thick celluloid. I just don't know that much about it. It's got wooden feet and hands, and he, I think, $50 or so. Yep, around $50, hopefully, for that. So I've got 50 uh, <clears throat> actually $84 into these little celluloid toys. Here's a couple other ones. I think it's, what's his name, Bonzo. There you go, the cat, and this little dog, only about 5 bucks, just kind of generic, not worth anything. Um, 
but yeah, I got around $85 into that, and I should make between $150 and $200 if I'm lucky. So if they, if it was all like that, I'd do really well, but unfortunately it's not. What else do I have here? I got these, actually. I've got these up at auction right now on eBay, and I think I'm going to do pretty good on these things. There are a bunch of dolls I got. Let me see how much I paid for these dolls. Dolls, 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 cloth and composition dolls. Thirty-six dollars into these, and I've got one, two, four of them, and they're pretty neat. You can see it's composition head, composition hands, composition boots, and a cloth body with wire in it, so they're bendables. I've never seen anything like these, which of course doesn't mean they're worth anything, but I've just never seen it, so I'm pretty excited to see what happens. And I have them. I have all this up on eBay right now, and these dolls. Here's the. I guess that's a woman. Yeah, it must be a man and a wife, but I'm selling them. I can't, actually, maybe not. Who knows? But, <clears throat> same type of deal. And then, this is a dancing pair. As marked on here, the Jolly Dancers. Composition heads. Unfortunately, she has uh, some issues in the back of her head. Actually, I guess it is composition hollow. And cloth bodies, and they're all sewn together, so you can't separate them. And what else? Oh, then this one here is pretty cool. Black Americana. I usually do pretty well with that type of thing, so who knows. But I had I started all these these four dolls at an out at nine ninety nine. They all have a bid so far and a lot of watchers. And I paid what was it, thirty six dollars, I think. Yeah, thirty six dollars for them. So i I'm already making my money back on them. Maybe these will be some great sleeper and bail me out this time. I hope so. <clears throat> what else do we have? Alright. Let's look at these here. I've got some, uh, I don't know if I took notes on these or not. Yeah, I did. These are pretty cool. They're lead figures, or lead figures, lead toys from Barclay from the 40s or 50s, I imagine. I'm a sucker for these things, kind of like celluloid. If I see them, you have a hard time chasing me off of these. I just love them. And this is the best piece right here. It's all lead, painted wooden, wooden wheels. It's got a good bit of paint wear, but I've kind of found on these, as long as they're complete, you know, obviously you're going to get more if they, if they don't have paint wear, but as long as they're complete, don't have any cracks or anything, you can do pretty good. And this one should go for around $30. I'll just show you a couple of them. This guy with the cannon, $10, 12 bucks for that. I should pull these out before you. This is my favorite one something about it's pretty cool is that focusing hopefully it focuses pretty good two-man tank crew I just love these things I I could do this eBay business for a living man just running into these old toys checking out history like this it's really cool let's see here got the uh, cannon car minus the cannon or cannon truck I guess <clears throat> cannon is interesting because they're all bar clay but this one I'm 99% sure this is bar clay it's possible it's not but I'm really pretty convinced it is and this is die cast the rest are lead what else here we got a spotlight guy and a machine gunner but the machine gunner I don't know if you can see that it's got a crack in it so this guy's probably I don't know if it'll sell or not I might get five or ten bucks when you start getting cracked up like that people lose interest <clears throat> I guess that's about it. oh no wait I have in this lot here, this is actually uh, the best that I got, and I'll show you the I'll show you the worst and the best out of this bag of um, of wind up toys. It's all black Americana, which sells really well for me. It's a wind up, but it's missing her leg, and she's just really trash. So I'm, pro I'm probably be lucky to get ten bucks maybe for this one. Uh, this is the best piece out of the whole lot. I think is I think this character is called Poor Pete, but I can't remember exactly. Again, old wind-up, Black Americana, should have a dog biting his, biting his butt, but it's missing. But even with the dog missing, these are going, I've seen them go for $100. So, I should do alright on that one. Let's see here. What did I pay for that anyway? Do I have the wind-ups here? 60 bucks for them total, and I should get maybe between, well, I have 80 and 100 total, but that can't be right because I should get 100 bucks for that, but we'll see. And I got a couple uh, pieces of uh, kind of nondescript dollhouse furniture. I only paid ten, uh, 12 bucks for all the dollhouse furniture stuff. Some uh, green wooden stuff like that. 
So again, I thought it was kind of funny to show you guys. I put all this stuff up and I'm kind of crossing my fingers to see if I can, uh, you know, get out of this auction without losing my butt. And if I'm lucky, you never know. You find something that you weren't expecting hits a home run for you, but I'm not really expecting it. You know, you win some, you lose some. And I think this auction may be the case of you lose some. But we will find out. So that's it. Just wanted to share a few things, update you on the Amazon stuff, clear the air on how many we're actually selling, and show you the dials. So have a great night, morning, whatever it is for you. Please rate, subscribe, leave feedback, and all that good stuff. Take care.